thanks, Chairperson. Chairperson, I prepared a speech, and then just yesterday, a video was so circulated on social media about two naked women imprisoned badly beaten women. I closed the video in shock and immediately asked, where did this video come from? No response. I asked again and again, and still until now, no response. I opened again and painfully watched with tears running, with tears running down my face how these two badly bruised, exhausted women were begging that these men must stop. Why did the first person who received this sick video not report it? Why did no one hear them? I ask myself a question, do we have, for example, an intelligence service in our country? Hacking into cell phones and emails were used to fight party political battles, but why can't the origin of these messages be traced? 20 years of 16 days of activism, and what have we achieved? Over the past five years, we have been subjected to a 16% increase in the murder rate of women. And in the 2017-18 financial year, 18,000 child rape cases were recorded. Poverty, inequality, unemployment, which is a disproportionate impact on a woman and our youth, continues to escalate. Why are we failing, Chairperson, to translate our constitutional rights into meaningful reality? Section 33 of the Constitution states that a child has a right to just and fair administration. This is not being upheld in the maintenance courts due to the ongoing postponements, untrained staff and parents and lawyers who abuse the system. This is a large reason why six million of our children are starving, as recently reported. Parents cannot postpone their children's needs. Interim orders must be put in place so that our children's need are seen to whilst the cases are finalised. And when we're speaking about gender-based violence and violence against women in South Africa, Africa, we cannot ignore the senseless violence exerted towards lesbian women in South Africa. Discrimination has ensured that corrective rape and the brutal rape and murder of lesbians has become a continuous evil in our society. When reporting these crimes, many have experienced outward discrimination from the South African Police Service and of victim shame. I want to read you a letter. Growing up in our community, it was a norm to see a man beating up his wife or partner. We would be wake, woken up by screams. First screams in the house would be the child begging the father to stop beating the mother. We would then just listen. No one would dare get up and try to help. I again were into Yaban to Ababini. In the morning, the husband has left to go to work. Only you will see some neighbours going to find out what has happened, and it will just become neighbourhood gossip. Thank you. Black eyed, with her duke on her head to cover her bruises, Thank you, the embarrassment member. in her face. And this will continue until one day it is actually a funeral. It's got to stop. We have to start talking out about this. Thank you. We as women and men need to stand Thank together you, in this country. Member. Thank you, Chief. Thank you.